Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Somesh. In this video, I will explain time and work related problems. Model is pipes and tanks. So, this model is similar to what we have discussed in part 1 and part 2. Here, major difference is in this model, negative work also comes to. I will explain all these concepts with the help of different problems. So, problem number one. Pipes A and B can fill a tank in 10 hours and 12 hours. And pipe C can empty in 6 hours. If all the three pipes are open simultaneously, and how much time will be required for the tank to be full? So, here pipe A and B act as the inlet pipes. Why? Because these pipes are used to fill the tank. Pipe C can empty in 6 hours. That means pipe C is the outlet pipe. So, assume this is a tank. Okay. So, pipe A is the inlet tank. Sorry, inlet pipe. Pipe B is also inlet. And pipe C is the outlet. So, pipe A takes... 10 hours to fill the tank. Pipe B takes 12 hours. Pipe C is takes 6 hours to empty the tank. Okay. So all these pipes are operated simultaneously. How much time is required to fill the tank? That is the question. Okay. So all these pipes are operated simultaneously. That means simply Pipe A take pipe A work done in one hour is one by ten. Pipe B work done in one hour is one by twelve. Pipe C work done in one hour is one by six. So all these are operated simultaneously. So one by ten plus one by twelve. Pipe C acted as a outlet pipe. So minus one by six. This is the negative one. Okay. Simply, LCM 60. So, 10, 6, 60. 6 plus 12, 5, 60. So, 5 minus 6, 10, 60. So, 10. So, finally, we will get 1 by 60. So, all these uh, tanks, all these pipes are operated simultaneously. To fill the tank, it takes 60 hours. So, answer is 60 hours. Okay, next problem. Problem number 2. A tank has two pipes. Both working together fill the tank in 12 hours. So, first pipe is 10 hours faster than the second pipe. How much time would it take to fill the tank if only second pipe is used, only second pipe is used, how much time to take to fill the tank? Let first pipe takes T hours only. Let first pipe takes T hours. So, time taken by the second pipe is T plus 10 hours. Why? Because here in the given question, first pipe is 10 hours faster than the second pipe. So, that means second pipe is slow. So, time taken by the second pipe is first pipe time plus 10 hours. Okay. So, in one hour, this is 1 by t, first pipe. In one hour, second pipe work is 1 by t plus 10. Both pipes operated together it takes 12 hours so in one hour simply 1 by 12 so that means 1 by t plus 1 by t plus 10 is equal to 1 by 12 simple lcm t into t plus 10 so t plus 10 plus t is equal to here 1 by 12 so, 2t plus 10 by t square plus 10t is equal to 1 by 12. So, 24t 
plus 120 is equal to t square plus 10t. So t square minus 14t minus 120 is equal to 0. Simply this is equal to t minus 20 into t plus 6. So here t is equal to 20 or minus 6. 10 cannot be represented in negative. So answer, oh sorry, so t is equal to 20. But the question is, how much time would it take to fill the tank if only second pipe is used? So second pipe time is calculated. So t is the first pipe time. So t is the first pipe time. T hours. So second pipe time, simply t plus 10 hours. So that is equal to 20 plus 10. That is equal to 30 hours is the answer. 30 hours is the answer. Now coming to the third problem. Problem number three. Two pipes A and B can fill in 12 and 15 minutes respectively. Both are open together. But at the end of three minutes, pipe A is turned off. How much longer will the tank take to fill? So, two pipes. Pipe A takes 12 minutes and pipe B takes 15 minutes. So in 1 minute, this is 1 by 12, this is 1 by 15. So up to 3 minutes, these pipes are working together. So 3 into 1 by 12 plus 1 by 15, that is simply 1 by 4 plus 1 by 5, that is equal to 9 by 20. After 3 minutes, what happened? Pipe A is turned off. But at the end of three minutes, pipe A is turned off. How, how much longer will the tank take to fill? So after three minutes, pipe A is turned off. So first we have to calculate remaining work after three minutes. Remaining work is simply 1 minus 9 by 20. That is equal to 11 by 20. So, after 3 minutes, pipe A is turned off. Only pipe B is operated. So, pipe B takes 1 minute to complete 1 by 15th work. So, how many, how much time to take pipe B complete remaining work? Remaining work is 11 by 20. Simply, x that is equal to 11 by 20 divided by 1 by 15. So finally you will get 11 by 20 into 15 that is equal to 33 by 4 means 8.25 minutes. Now problem number 4. A tank is filled by three pipes with uniform flow. The first two pipes operating simultaneously fill the tank in the same time during which the tank is filled by the third pipe alone. The second pipe fills the tank 5 hours faster than the first pipe and 4 hours slower than the third pipe. The time required by the first pipe. So we have to calculate the time required by the first pipe to fill the tank. So for example, assume x is the time taken by the pipe A. So work done is equal to 1 by x. But in the given question, second pipe, second pipe fills the tank 5 hours faster than the first pipe. So second pipe time is x minus 5. Pipe B, assume it is a pipe B x minus p. So work done is equal to 1 by x minus 5. And second pipe, 5 hours faster than the first pipe, 4 hours slower than the third pipe. For example, third pipe time plus 4 hours is equal to second pipe time. So third pipe time is simply 
x minus 5 minus 4 that is equal to x minus 9. So for example, assume third pipe is C. So x minus 9 is the time. So 1 over 1 by x minus 9. And the given question, what is the given question? The third pipe alone, this is the hinge. The, the first two pipes are operating simultaneously, fill the tank in the same time, during which the tank is filled by the third pipe alone. That is the hinge. So, therefore, 1 by x plus 1 by x minus 5 is equal to 1 by x minus 9. So, simple LCM x into x minus 5. So, x minus 5 plus x is equal to 1 by x minus 9. So, finally, we will get 2x minus 5 by x square minus 5x is equal to 1 by x minus 9. Okay. So, by simplifying, we will get x square minus 18x minus 45. Simply is equal to 0. Simple cross multiplication. So, that is equal to x minus 15 into x minus 3 is equal to 0. So, x is equal to 15 or 3. But, assume if x is equal to 3, that means it is the first time time, then what happened? Second pipe time is 3 minus 5 that is equal to minus 2. So, time cannot be represented in minus, okay, in these problems. So, simply x is equal to 15. 15 hours is the answer. Finally, last problem. A tank is normally filled in 10 hours due to leakage 2 hours longer to fill the tank. How long it takes to fill the tank? So, we will see. So, tank takes generally 10 hours, for example. But due to leakage, it takes 2 hours long. So, 10 plus 2, that is equal to 12 hours. So, simply this 12 hours, assume it is a pipe B, this is pipe A. So, 1 hour work is 1 by 10. And due to leakage, so that is the negative work. So, negative work is equal to 1 by 12, tank B. So, assume it is a tank B, due to leakage is nothing but tank B, simply. So, here, LCM is 60, simply, 6 minus 5, 1 by 60. So, answer is simply 60 hours. Simple logic. So, here leakage is considered as a second tank. Okay, due to leakage, it takes 2 hours long. So, second, uh, sorry, second pipe. So, pipe B is 12 hours. Remaining, rest of the things will be the same. Thank you.